We're starting to see the COVID vaccine at more independent pharmacies. Maybe there's even one in your neighborhood. But what's the process for those pharmacists to vaccinate more people? Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra takes a look new at five. The Moderna COVID-19 vaccines have come to pharmacies. It arrived middle of last week. So that we have a dedicated freezer just for vaccine. Once you thaw it, you have to use the vial within six hours. After applying to the state, Asti Drug received its first batch of 500 doses and has been inoculating Group 1A. If you're a destination for sick people uh, or unhealthy people, uh, then you need to be vaccinated with priority. So we got 700 doses for the residents of long-term care facilities. People sign up through an online form. The pharmacist confirms they are in group 1A. The pharmacist then schedules them for a clinic like this three-hour session. I come in contact with people who um, are COVID positive. We will likely vaccinate about 50 people today. And our goal is if we can at least do 50 a day, then we can knock out a few hundred a week. The demand is going to significantly increase. It's just like any other shot that we have our children get, and it's, it's you know, it's, it's easy peasy. It, it doesn't hurt. She's excellent. I recommend her. People wait 15 minutes afterwards. In one case, the pharmacist had to give epinephrine for an allergic reaction and called an ambulance. Right, we've had an instance, but uh, it, it is certainly rare. This is expected, which is why we're prepared for it. They're looking to track all of the uh, adverse events. This includes muscle pain, fever, and body aches later. Of note, the 1A group is dwindling down, which means expansion to 1B could be coming soon. If I were to guess, I would say within the next 7 to 10 days. If you've signed up, check your email daily. The people that are getting vaccinated today, we expect to be vaccinating in 28 days. The pharmacy will be moving ahead based on guidance from the state. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.